Hi there, it's Thursday the 23rd of July 2020 and we're looking at how to persevere under trial this week. First of all, we learned that we have to draw near to God. Secondly, that we should hold unswervingly to the hope we profess because we need hope to persevere through trial. Thirdly, let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. So actually to look outside of our help, ourselves to look to help others is a way to help us persevere through trial because it puts our trials in perspective and encourages us to keep going. And also to receive that spur or that shaking or that encouragement from others for us can help us to persevere when people believe in us and say, yes, you can do it. Go for it. And the next verse in Hebrews chapter 10 which talks about how we can persevere through trial. Verse 25 says this, Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing. Of course, we cannot meet right now all together as Christian believers in the church building, although um, hopefully that's going to come about very soon. And we're looking at how to do that in Hope Hall. But what is it that the writer of Hebrews is saying to us? He's saying, if you want to persevere under trial, you cannot do that yourself. You need the help and support of the larger community, of your brothers and sisters in the family of God. If you're a believer in the Lord Jesus, then you are part of the church. That is every single Christian believer across this world. And every single Christian believer belongs to you and you belong to them and all together you belong to the family of God. And you need that body, you need that family, you need the fellowship, you need the love, you need the support, you need the encouragement of your fellow Christians. And in order to receive that love and support you need to be in communication with them. And the best way to do that is to meet together. It's been great to be able to meet online via Zoom, uh, meetings online. It's been great to be in contact with one another. We've had some of our church prayer meetings online via Zoom and that's been great and it's been encouraging. But there is nothing to compare with physically being together in the same room, with shaking each other's hands, with giving each other a hug or a kiss, with just fellowshipping, with laughing together, with seeing each other with looking into each other's eyes, with singing together. One of the things that I'm most disappointed at is as we meet back together again, is we're not going to be able to sing. We're still going to have to wear masks and, and I'm going to miss that so much because singing together as believers, there's just something wonderful as we worship together. And so the writer is saying, look, to persevere under trial, don't ever stop meeting together as far as is it possible to do. Don't give up that habit. I, don't, I, I just don't understand Christians who, who, who don't come to church, who don't meet in church week by week, who come every now and again. I don't understand that because it's wonderful to be together with your brothers and sisters. There's a strength which comes and whatever trials you're facing, just to be there with your fellow brothers and sisters, to know that they love you and care for you. It gives you strength. It enables you to persevere, to have people say, how are you doing? And really mean it. And if you're brave enough, you can share with them, well, I'm, I'm going through trial, I'm going through test, I'm finding life really difficult just now. I've got this issue or this problem in my life and I, I, I just don't know what to do. And to have somebody encourage you to somebody to pray with you to somebody to put their arm around you and sit with you and say well I'll stand with you now and I'll pray for you every day this week or I'll keep you in my prayers isn't that incredible encouragement doesn't that help us to persevere to keep going under trial under test under the challenges which we have so let us not stop meeting together let us not stop encouraging one another let us not stop praying with one another. It's so strong. It's so helpful. It's so encouraging. It's so uplifting. May God bless you. Father God, we pray for one another, for all of us who are facing tests and trials, 
today, this week, at this season in our life. We thank you for the fellowship of the saints, for the strength that comes from our brothers and sisters, that we are in this together, that we love and care for one another, that we pray for one another, and that we long to meet together again one day soon. Lord, may that day come soon. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Speak to you again one last time tomorrow.